<laughs> there is no way I'm not kicking this over. <laughs> So Colleen, I'm very excited. I am a new straw hat. Um, I just got to Alabaster. Oh. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> it, the community um, went so hard for me to start it yeah. um, that it felt like I was being indoctrinated into a church. Yeah, yeah. It's the, we're faithful. We are the faithful. We need some kind of... Um, Did you think it would get this big? I mean, we knew going in that it was... It, it was a big deal. Um, there was a, a lot of hoopla around it, so we all knew that it was something that we wanted to be a part of, and we were all super nervous about auditioning. Um, but I don't think we had any concept that it could possibly be this long of a project, um, and that it would get as intense as it has. So no, really. Well, I'm, I'm excited to get there. Um... Yeah, you're a baby. I'm a baby. I am a baby, you guys. Um, but don't worry, a lot of these questions that heavy straw hats have given me. Um, and if this first question is one that I have. Um, you won't like my answer. <coughs> Actually, my answer has tiny bits of spoiler in it, so I'm kind of... Everyone spoiled everything for me. <laughs> for you guys, too. Like, I don't want to spoil much, but... Um... Excuse me. I... Uh... I've always liked Mike McFarland's answer to that, that uh, at the end of the series, Luffy finds a, the treasure chest and he opens it up and there's a big red button and he pushes it, like, what's this? He pushes it and we start back over at episode one. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike McFarland's answer, um, which is better than mine. I want the One Piece to be like a spaceship, like a ship but it can travel further. Like there are elements of that that we get a little bit in the later seasons that it makes it not completely out of the realm of possibility. And I think it would be so cool to have like that whole other frontier and space pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy hasn't traveled space yet. What if we find out it's in like the Star Wars universe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure at any point I'm going to be getting a cease and desist from Oda being like, just stop talking about space pirates. It's not a thing. It's like, I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, I've been it's not anywhere close to what I'm doing. Um, so talk to me about the process of becoming Luffy. He's such a defined character. Um, and he's so lovable and mm -hmm. you can hear it in the acting. I, um, I just finished Arlong Park, you guys. And there's a scene where like he brushes off Nami's um, haters who are like trying to talk bad about her. He's like, whatever, she's part of my crew. And I'm like, I love him. Yeah, yeah, he's fantastic. He's he's the most live live in the moment protagonist in all of anime. Because most anime has all of these tortured individuals um, who are like plagued by their past or who are so wound up by the future that they can't really concentrate on what's happening in the present and enjoy their moments. And, uh, and he's just the exact opposite of that. He just lives in the moment exactly. And even though he has a goal, it never actually occupies his mind while he's doing the thing he's doing. He's just doing what is right or what he wants to do. Uh, and it's so lovely and what we all want to be, you know, and I think it does make him concentrate more closely on his friends, but also just be more accepting of who people are because he's never thinking, I wish you were something else, unless it's like a truly evil person. He's always like, you're funny and like just, just welcoming to everybody. So I just, I, I love him. I adore him. Beyond Luffy, do you have a favorite straw hat? <laughs> it changes all the time. Yeah. In the earlier episodes, it's Chopper. Uh, and then when we get to the Usopp, uh, Sniper King area, it's Usopp. Uh, currently, it's Brooke, but really, it's Luffy. I love that. <laughs> I, right now, I'm a Usopp fan. Yeah. Um, and everyone's like, early on? And I'm like, yeah, I like him. Yeah, yeah no, he's, he's charming and lovely. I, but you will be a Brooke fan. Really? Everybody yeah. is. Everybody is. Is that true? Sure. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Um, which crewmate relationship do you like the most? Oh. Um, I love the little bro relationship that, that Luffy and Usopp and Chopper have. And that kind of expands every now and again to incorporate somebody like Carrot or um, the different people who come in and they just think are hilarious. Broke a little bit. 
Um, but I love that that camaraderie of we're just big dumb idiots together, um, and they're they're so fun and they're so like just enjoying whatever is happening. And I like the in sync, the unison, like crazy monster flaps that they do. Uh, so yeah, I guess I guess that's my favorite. And I forgot to ask because because my name is Frankie. Do you love Frankie? I too? do <laughs> love Frankie. I love to see what Frankie's new designs are. Like every time there, we get a reset and the whole design happens, he's the one that I look at to see what they did. Yeah, that's why I love to hear. And Patrick Sykes is a genius. I yeah. love him. I I think um, some of the, what I really love, even looking at when it started, it is the most inclusive, yeah. creative character design I've ever seen. I yeah, it's super cool. Um, so what's your favorite arc? Uh, for a long time, it was Thriller Bark. But now that we're in the higher reaches, um, it's like whatever is happening. So Whole Cake happened, and I was like, this is the best arc. And then Wano happened, and I'm like, this is the best arc. <laughs> Um, and I'm still there, so at the moment it's Wano, but I'm absolutely positive it's going to be whatever's next. I love that. Um, on the piggybacking off of that, which one made you the most emotional so I can prepare myself? <laughs> uh, it's moments. moments. It's not arcs, it's moments. So, the, well, uh, spoilers, y'all. Um, I'm just going to say individual words. Mary. <laughs> Usopp, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. What if you guys love this? This is, it makes me so sad every time. Right? And then Sanji. Oh. So, it, yeah. it evolves. This, this, but this is what I mean. The yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. Go, <laughs> We're uh, all there. <laughs> it's like, you, you don't yeah. meet someone and you have inside jokes. I mean, how does that feel? Oh, no, this is why recording something like this in the age of social media is awesome. It's like the only good thing about social media <laughs> is that we are all totally on the same page and we're all hyping each other. Um, so even though you get, you can get mad at spoilers all you want, but the spoilers just hype you to see whatever it is got spoiled about. I want spoilers all the time and only for this show. Um, I, I think it makes us a community in a way that I don't feel is really there for any other series. I, my hero, Academia, sort, sort of is the, a little bit the same, um, but it's, no, it's nothing tops One Piece. Um, we're all in it, and I think we all struggled together. It was like, like the high school relationship that you didn't know if it was gonna succeed. It feels like that, you know? Like we, we went through the time where it was like, how come nobody loves this the way we love this? Uh, and then now we're there and everybody loves it. You're like, I told you you were gonna love it. Uh, and it just, we all have like, this common language and it's so wonderful to see people come up to the table and I can have the same conversation over and over and over again all day long. And I don't get bored because each time it's us the two people on the same page going, yes, that. Um, I told my friend about it, and he said he didn't want to watch it because it was a thousand episodes. And I told him, you have to watch it. And then he finally watched it, and now he can't get enough of it, and he's got a tattoo. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what we do. And it's an excellent community. No one ever shames me because I just started. They're like, welcome. <laughs> welcome wherever you are. Yeah, and I think it's just in the spirit of Luffy. Yeah. Um, what I love most about One Piece is um, the backstories of each character yeah. and the villains. They're all sad. Yeah, but what, what's your favorite? <laughs> oh, they're all sad. They're terrible. <laughs> Everybody's got this tragic backstory except Luffy who's like, I'm in a barrel. <laughs> each, every time somebody comes in, it's like, okay, what's your trauma? And Luffy will fix it. Um, I, I think... Probably, I'm gonna say Brooks, just because Laboon is like my favorite thing ever. Um, and yeah, Brooks is what, maybe the most tragic, if you really think about it. He doesn't present it in that way, but it is kind of the most tragic. And um, I love I loved Laboon so much, like so much. I love that. Um, so who's your favorite side character? Foxy. Uh, I know that you guys like the villains where I fight for 50 episodes. I don't like those villains. That hurts. Um, so the villains I like are Foxy <laughs> and um, uh, Mr. Two. Like, I like the ones that are silly. 
Yeah. I, I love that the villains, um, Luffy doesn't like to like dispose, I'll say that word instead of the villains, so they always come back. Um, I forget his name, the um, cloud who can detach himself. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm getting there. <laughs> Did you say clown or cloud? The clown, clown who can detach himself yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And I love seeing him come back every time. And like, and Mike is so funny. Yeah, and he's like failing his way up. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so he is. That is exactly what's happening. And the guy who uh, does the dub voice of that character is the main ADR director for most of the show. Just no like way. Yeah. See, everything's connected. Everything's I think that's connected. the family aspect that creates such an excellent community because yeah. it's the tragic characters that you're like, I want to connect with. Yeah. This like hero that is growing, but still, you know, you keep Luffy at his core, accepting and open and welcome. And you always find the little nuggets of something that happened like 50 episodes ago or 200 episodes ago. That's just going in and out. Uh, you find those characters <laughs> uh, that, or, or anything that, that has happened like hundreds of episodes past that didn't pay off until like right now, and that's just the genius that is Oda of like, oh, you brought that all the way back around. We didn't know, but now we know. I love that. I love that too. I, I keep on hearing about it, and that's the best part. Yes, it is. Is this worth using? What do you guys think? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, this question is actually from Straw Hat Goofy. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> Boy can dance. His his. Uh, videos lately are like just all dancing. Yeah. It's like he's decided he's gonna be a dancer. He is the bug. He's yeah, he's the dancing fantastic. bug. Um, he asked me to ask you: Would you rather Luffy's final showdown be with Blackbeard or Eames or Emu? Am I saying the name right? Yeah. You guys are so nice. If I was in My Hero Academia, I would crush me. I don't. I don't read ahead in the manga. Okay. So I don't think I know enough to answer that question. What do you guys think? So let's do hands. Um, who would prefer that the final showdown be with Blackbeard? That's what I've always kind of assumed. Okay. And then what about, was it Emu? Yeah. Yeah, who, hands up for Emu. Okay, okay. Well, who do you guys think? Because that's not who I was thinking. Neither of us. Huh? Akainu. You can talk Akainu. What do you think? Shakes. Well, I'm not saying. Oh, she's not saying. That's a popular answer. Okay, okay. What if it's Shakes? That's, yeah. Kizaru, that would be hilarious. That is a popular answer. Kizaru. I love it. Um, okay, so you have children. I have one child. You have one child? And now a dog. We and now a dog. dog. Do you see any similarities with, like, Luffy and the characters and your children? <laughs> he, um, <laughs> that's hard. Uh, no. Uh, he loves Luffy. He hasn't watched the show yet because he just got to the age where I'm like letting him because um, it was super violent and I just didn't, wasn't there yet. Um, but he's there now and I think we're going to start watching it together. We watched one episode. Um, and he loves the voice and he loves the, like, the look of Luffy and we talk about him all the time and I just straight up stole the, um, the episodic like, plot lines as bedtime stories. Because I'm, I'm not creative. <laughs> so I was just like regurgitating what was happening in the booth. Um, and so he's, he's down, he's very into it. Uh, but I don't, think, I don't think anybody lives in the moment like Luffy does. I don't know anybody who, I, I told Sunny Straight. Hello. Uh, I told Sunny Straight who plays Usopp that he is the one who reminds me the most of Luffy out of all of us. Um, but that's a pretty special guy. So. That's interesting because he plays characters that yeah. are scary. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> or scared. He yeah. plays a lot of scared characters. Yeah, and that's, that's not who you buy. Yeah. Scary, like scary. He's not scared by, by anything. He's just to totally live in the moment. We could switch, actually. I mean, You're more important. <laughs> <than the moment. laughs> I don't know that that's true. But um, he, yeah, he, he lives in the moment and he is so. Um, fun and excitable and open and loving and accepting in the way that Luffy is. So of all the people, I'd say Sonny's the most like him. He, does your son know that you're Luffy? He does. He's a little too into that. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. 
but like he told somebody at school recently that if he could sign something for them and it'd be kind of like I was signing up. <laughs> <laughs> but I like this kid style. <laughs> like, bro, don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. <laughs> Also, your, then your friends don't know who that is, so stop it. <laughs> um, if Luffy wasn't a pirate, what other career do you think he would have? <laughs> Man, what else would he be satisfied by? Um, like, he, he could be stationary, yeah. um, maybe like a bounty hunter. Yeah, I was thinking cowboy. On the yeah. <laughs> the a space pirate. I a space pirate. <laughs> He wouldn't have to worry about drowning. I would say a chef. A chef? He loves food. He loves food. He would make anything. He would eat the ingredients. This is not. That's not a viable option. I, I like the food critics. Uh, food critics. Yeah, travel Also, one. not a viable. Like you just shove it down into your stomach, and that you don't. They bypass the mouth altogether. <laughs> like he doesn't taste food. He doesn't. Right? No, all food is created equal. Um, so, did this role help you with any other roles that you're playing? Because you do so much. I think it actually hurt me. <laughs> um, I think doing this role, which is so iconic, uh, and, and it being so, like, fan-forward, um, makes it very difficult for me to play boy voices in anything else without somebody being like, that sounds like Luffy! <laughs> um, so I think he's kind of ruined me for playing other boys. Uh, but it does, the voice does kind of help me warm up for lower voice, smooth uh, women. So if I, like, if I have any kind of, this is the voice that I have to do, I'm doing a commercial, then I warm up in the car with Luffy singing to the radio uh, because it gets all of the gunk out of my throat. So that's how Luffy helps me. C commercially, Luffy helps me. But I'm ruined for all, for all anime characters, other than girls, I think. I love that, though. Like, you're Luffy, and it's uh, so long, it. and beyond reproach. Um, so, this is my final question. Um, in the meantime, while you're answering, if the audience has questions, we're going to open it up to the floor. Please um, begin to line up behind this microphone. Um, this one is just when I was wondering after I saw your name, um, and you can keep your secrets here. Um, are you a pirate? Am I a pirate? Like, am I a pirate or a ninja, or am I a pirate? Are you like in like clinking beard? Oh yeah, am I truly a pirate? <laughs> are you actually a pirate? You can tell us, and we will not tell anyone. <laughs> My name would lend itself to that. Or I, to I, right? I am the least piratey person that you have ever known. Like, I Luffy is my exact antithesis. So uh, I'm gonna go with no, but I bet my ancestors were. Yeah. yeah. That's full circle, then. Right. One of the, I think he's more famous at this point than Blackbeard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, excellent. We have a bunch of questions. So um, let's please keep it to one question per person. Um, and yeah, I'm just here to moderate, and it's all free. Is it off? Okay, oh, here. It's on, it's just low. It's on? Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just take it off and see if it works better. There you go. Um, oh. oh, yeah, now it's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not omnidirectional. <laughs> okay, my question is, Luffy versus Urza, both at their strongest form. Who do you think would win? Luffy. 100%. Uh, and Urza would hate him. But Luffy would love her. He would totally want her on his crew, 100%. Um, hi, um, I was wondering, um, the live action Netflix is coming up soon, so I'm curious, um, they're, they're gonna be doing like, probably like the early parts of like One Piece first, so I'm wondering like if there's like a moment in the first part of One Piece that you're most excited to see in live action in terms of like Luffy, a fight, like, or just like an emotional moment? There's a lot of stuff. It would like, be in like the top three if that was Because how many people here, like when you found out they were doing a, a live action, were like, how are you gonna do that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the things, the, all the things that they have to check off to get it right are gonna be fascinating to watch. Um, Luffy's stretching. That's like, that's very basic to One Piece. It happens all the freaking time. How are you gonna do it? Um, Shanks and the Sea Beast? How are you gonna do that? 
<laughs> uh, I want to see Luffy come out of a barrel. I would like to see that. <laughs> you said you warm up by singing with Luffy's voice. Don't Can you? <laughs> <laughs> you like to be friends or you can be enemies. <laughs> you make the choice. In that case, can I do a different one? What did you say? Can I do a different question then? Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, who's your favorite of the supernovas of the? Uh, the oh, I heard Luffy and Supernova. What'd you actually say? Yeah. Who's your favorite of the uh, other supernovas, the other um, worst generation members? Oh, oh, oh! I like Kid. I'm wearing a law hat. Their dynamic right now with the three of them is hysterical, and I think Justin Cook is so good. I mean, so is Matthew, obviously, but uh, Justin playing kid is just, he cracks me up. All right. Well, That's I've the been lowest all the way over. All right, so uh, Mayumi Tanaka just recently said that when One Piece ends, she's going to retire. Would you think about retiring after One Piece or you plan to go on after Luffy ends his adventure? Um, that's funny. I, I mean, it depends on where we are. Like, how, what are we talking? Are we talking five years, 10 years? What are we talking about? I'm 43. So um, you give me 10 more years and I'm, I might be thoroughly wrecked by this voice. Uh, but it kind of just makes you good for commercial work. So I don't know, maybe I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I won't stop coming to conventions as long as you guys will come and talk to me. Maybe, maybe everybody will get over that I can play Luffy and I get to play boy, boy voices again. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so I, I also am uh, not fully caught up with One Piece. I just finished Dressrosa, so maybe Akino has been dealt with. I don't know. That was fun. <laughs> but. Um, uh, what is your favorite uh, devil fruit power? Um, selfishly and stupidly, probably the door door fruit. Um, just because, like, we all want teleporting powers. That's what we really want because, That's I, fair. you know. But uh, I am also a mom, so uh, Robins would be pretty great. Uh, it'd be nice to have lots of hands. Um, man, Lucy Christian has a great answer to that, and I forgot what it was, but. I won't steal it anyway. <laughs> so it makes sense in my mind that like the final battle would be against the cross field, but what what would be your opinion on that? The cross field? Cross guild. It's, oh, the cross guild. It's in the manga now. If you've read ahead. Yeah, I'm not there. <laughs> I I don't read the manga, and like my intention is to wait and then read all of it and then watch all of it. Okay. Um. Then. Who is your like favorite of the of the monster trio other than Luffy? Like, who is your favorite between Sanji and Zoro? Like, who should be the right hand man? <laughs> is Sanji up there like that? Because Zoro, Zoro's so oh, cool. I need to catch up. <laughs> Zoro's so cool, and they gave like the the more recent stuff with him too. Like, they gave him such cool stuff to do. Uh, Zoro. I, I, that's really shocking to me because Zoro know, is like so awesome and he's like yeah. he's a, a knife in his mouth. Yeah, he gets even cooler. That's <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so who's your favorite of the Mink tribe? This is just going to be a favorite. Like, yeah. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> who's, who's the favorite of the what? Of the Mink tribe. Oh. You know, the, the anthropomorphic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Name them. Uh, Wanda, um, Carrot, Dark Storm, Cat Viper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like Cat Viper, but I'm gonna have to go uh, with Carrot. I, I liked all of them. They were they were all very like unique and cool, and I love the Gara stuff. Like I love I love the I I really get into the the way people use that language to make it a character. Um, it's really fun. But I wanted Carrot to be a straw hat. I also I I forget how to pronounce his name, but like Kellen's Kellen's character, which I absolutely like that, that is my favorite performance of his where he's playing the Musketeer <laughs> dude and he goes on and like, allow me to like like rock you over there like so fast. <laughs> and I was like I was like, okay, this is my favorite I've They're pretty cool. Yeah. What is your favorite episode? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were favorite. <laughs> um 
I cannot spoil things, so I'm just gonna say a number, 1,015. I have a different question now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we only have one minute. 1015, but you will see the animation is absolutely out of this world. Like, it'll blow your mind. If you're not there yet, it's gonna, it, it's insane. And no, I'm on season 13. You're on, what season is that? What episode is that? I don't know yeah. seasons. Yeah, this is so daunting. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I was wondering. You can pull it up. Somebody, yeah. somebody fix that stand. It's driving me yeah. out. Yeah. Can you tighten it? Uh, yeah, I was wondering, who does Luffy hate more? Like, who's his main villain? Blackbeard or Akainu kind of for what he did to Ace? Does, does Luffy even think that way? I don't think he thinks that way. Um, he lives so totally in the moment. I don't know that, like, he really has revenge on his mind it doesn't that that never he never talks about it you know i don't i don't know that he has a nemesis but would you like see like chasing him in the end like, between those two yeah between those two um i don't ah i trust in oda <laughs> whatever he has planned i i guess i had always thought blackbeard but i'm I, clearly everybody has emotions wrapped up in this i don't know um, Whatever Oda says. So unfortunately, this is the last question. <gasps> Sorry, guys. I will be at my table. Now. I was just gonna ask. Um, so if you guys go downstairs to the exhibit floor, floor. I don't know why I can't speak. It's because you're, you're amazing. <laughs> um, and Colleen will be there. I will be there. And yeah, you guys can speak to her and ask questions as well. All right. Last question. Oh, just you're it. Okay. It better not be my favorite pudding flavor. <laughs> <laughs> So you said that comment about not talking about songs. I wanted to ask about the Baka song in Skypea, especially like playing off of Mayumi Tanaka. Like, have you ever talked to her? Like, she's a blessing to humanity. You're also a blessing to humanity. <laughs> All of your other voice roles are just awesome. And I'd love to imagine how you would have played off each other because those songs, both versions, are like my happy songs. If I need a serotonin boost, I just listen to Luffy singing about idiots. <laughs> I love when those clips pop back up. Um, no, I have never met her, never talked to her, never met Oda. Um, that's just not a not a door that has been opened for me at any point, but I would love to. Um, I think she's a genius, and I absolutely, every time I'm about to record a Luffy line, I listen to what she does, and I try to do justice to that. If she does something in a funny way, I try to it, it mimic the funny way she's doing it. Um, because I, I think she's so good, and I want that to translate to what you guys are getting to hear in English as well. So it's absolutely my job to bring what she's doing to life for English speakers. Thank you so much. Thank you all for attending. This is such a big room. Let's give it up. Thank you.